The cardiac conduction system is the electrical wiring of the heart. Specialized cells in the conduction system initiate depolarization of the heart and allow rapid spread of electricity to trigger depolarization and contraction of cardiac myocytes. The electrical currents due to depolarization of the cardiac myocytes can be measured on the surface of the skin. The electrocardiogram, abbreviated ECG or also sometimes called EKG, records these changing electrical forces. This diagram lets you explore the correlation between the ECG tracing and the depolarization of the heart. You can slide your finger along the ECG tracing to see how the heart depolarizes and the correspondence between depolarization and the ECG tracing. You can also tap any of the circles to move directly to that point in depolarization. If you tap the heart itself, you can start or stop the animation. Here are a few things to pay attention to. The sinoatrial node, called the SA node, normally initiates depolarization. The SA node is high in the right atrium, or RA for short, at the junction of the superior vena cava and the RA. Therefore, the right atrium starts to depolarize first and overlaps in time with the depolarization of the left atrium. If you drag back and forth over the atrial depolarization, you can see this order and overlap. Depolarization of the atria corresponds to the P wave on the ECG tracing. The AV node is a group of specialized cells that conduct slowly. The electrical delay in the AV node allows for proper filling of the ventricles with blood prior to ejection. If you tap on the circle labeled bundle branches, you can see that conduction has moved down the left bundle branch, the conduction track adjacent to the left ventricle, slightly more quickly than the right bundle branch. The left bundle branch is generally thicker and conducts more quickly than the right. Therefore, the left side of the interventricular septum is the first portion of the ventricles to depolarize. As you continue depolarization past the bundle branches, electrical conduction spreads through the Purkinje fibers, fast conducting specialized cardiac myocytes, and then on to the rest of the ventricular muscle. With their extensive branching, Purkinje fibers reach a large portion of the endocardial layer of the ventricles. The ventricles therefore depolarize quickly. Given their relatively large muscle mass, they are normally reflected by a large, but brief, voltage deflection on the ECG. This deflection is called the QRS complex. The repolarization of the ventricles is shown by the clearing of the yellow shading on the heart. This repolarization is seen as the T wave on the ECG, 